Hello, my name is Cheryl and I'm with the health and wellness team at Lee Health. Thank you so much for joining us today. It's great to be here. Very thankful to you for taking some time. Today we are going to do a self-compassion break and the reason why this works is there's three elements in this practice. Mindfulness, common humanity, and self-kindness. They all play important roles in increasing self-compassion. Mindfulness allows people to step back and recognize that they are experiencing suffering without judging that suffering as something bad, something they should try to avoid. And sometimes people fail to notice when they're in pain or deny that they're suffering because it brings up feelings of weakness or defeat. So common humanity reminds people of their connection with other people, all of whom are suffering right along with us. And this self-compassion meditation eases feelings of loneliness and isolation. Self-kindness is an active expression of caring toward the self that can help people clarify their intentions for how they want to treat themselves. So going through these steps in response to a stressful experience can help people reduce that critical, that self-critical voice with a more compassionate one. We're way too hard on ourselves sometimes. Having self-compassion for ourselves comforts and reassures us rather than beating ourselves up for perceived shortcomings. And it makes it easier to work through stressful situations so that you can come to a peace of calm, acceptance, and happiness. We shouldn't have to depend on things to make us happy, just ourselves and how we feel in that moment. So let's go ahead and sit up straight in our chair. I invite you to place your feet on the ground, palms up in your lap, back straight but not rigid, head right above the shoulders, Mind alert, body relaxed. And let's just start with a few deep breaths, just noticing how the air comes in through the nostrils and out through the mouth slowly. Just giving yourself permission to let go in this moment. There's no place we need to be except right here. Let all that go. Loosen your jaw and just relax. Notice any tightness around the eyes, neck, shoulders, pelvic region. And just breathe into the entire body, falling into a deeper state of relaxation. Now I invite you to think of a situation in your life that's difficult or causing you stress. Call the situation to mind and just simply see if you can feel the stress and emotional discomfort and tension in your body. Where do you feel it? Now say to yourself, this is a moment of suffering. This acknowledgement is a form of mindfulness, of simply noticing what is going on with you emotionally in the present moment. 
You don't have to judge the experience as good or bad. You can also say to yourself, this is stress, this hurts, this is painful, irritating, discouraging, disappointing, whatever word describes what you're feeling. Next, say to yourself, suffering is a part of life. This is a recognition of your common humanity with others, that all people have trying experiences, and these experiences give you something in common with the rest of humanity, rather than single you out as abnormal or deficient. You might use other phrases such as, I'm not alone. We all struggle in our lives. Again, whatever feels natural to you. Just taking a couple of more deep breaths. Just relaxing more deeply. And exhaling out the stress. Now I invite you to put your hands over your heart. Feel the warmth of your hands and the gentle touch on your chest. And say, may I be kind to myself. This is a way to express self-kindness. It may feel unnatural at first, but as you practice, you will see the benefits. You can use other examples of this, such as I'm giving myself the compassion I need today, or may I accept myself as I am. May I be strong. May I be patient. And we'll take a couple of more deep breaths. This practice may be used any time of the day or night. If you practice it in moments of relative calm, it might be easier for you to experience the three parts of self-compassion, which are mindfulness, common humanity, and self-kindness when you need them most. Now I invite you to move your feet and your hands, bringing your awareness back into the room. Searching your arms if you like. Just slowly opening your eyes when you're ready. So I'd like to give you a tip for some other mindfulness activities you can do. For example, when you're walking, you can walk very slowly and just notice things as you're walking along and align your breathing to each slow step. So as you're breathing in, Take a step and count one, two, three. 
Exhale, take your next step. One, two, three. This allows you to really be present in the moment. It relaxes any stress that might be going on in your body just by the breathing and the concentration on the actual act of walking. So I invite you to try that the next time you're walking just to the bathroom or the kitchen to get your lunch. Try not to be so rushed. Slowing down a little bit definitely helps ease the mind. And I'd like to leave you a quote by John Kabat-Zinn. All the suffering, stress, and addiction comes from not realizing you already are what you are looking for. We're already good enough. Stay strong. Thanks for joining me. And enjoy the rest of your day. Remember to take some big, deep breaths when it gets to be too much. Thank you.